everyone, welcome back to Dallas Cup of Game Inside Line for the chase for the fourth race out of ten. We're going to Talladega. And to be honest, guys, I am really, really worried and concerned about this one. Because it's a restrict the play, and anything can happen on a restrict the play track. So yeah, I'm scared, but I am driving as Dale Jr., so that is an advantage. So we're, we're going to have to see. It's going to be about damage control, but we got a solid point lead. We're going to take a look at this. We got a 20-point lead over Matt Kenseth. A little comfortable, but this is going to be brutal. So it's not a lot. It's the top five or the top nine. I think the top ten. Let me see. Yeah, the top ten are separated by, let's see, 80, 40 points. 40 points separates the top ten. And we have a tie for 11th, and yeah, it's Talladega, guys, and anything can happen, but I have a 20-point lead. That's all I'm trying to say, but yeah, Talladega is going to be a wild one, but anyway, we're going to, we'll just jump into it. Yeah, this is going to be a wild card race, guys, so really worried. Oh, uh, let's head to Talladega, and I'll show you the settings. Alright, so here we are here at Talladega. Um, the only thing we're going to change for this is the difficulty. We're going to lower it down by one click to hard because uh, if you have no champion, you have to find like a really good qualifying setup, and, but without that, you're just going to qualify last, and uh, if you qualify in the back, you're basically going to stay in the back if it goes green the whole way and nothing will happen. So, for a little excited, we're going to lower it down to hard, but Everything else is going to stay the same, so... Before you begin qualifying, let's be sure the car is set up how you want it. Now head out and run a few laps. Yes, I need practice, but we're going to show you the setup here. Um, I'll, I'll show you the qualifying setup, but I'm going with a different setup for the race, so... Here's the setup. I'll show you the race setup. Oh, wait, shit. I'm an idiot. Hold on. I need to get out. Let me get out and put in my setup, and I'll show you guys. Yeah, we're going with the party Murray set, but we're going to go with the Robert 57 Chef. That's what we're going with for the qualifying, so let me show you what we have. So here it is. Here's the qualifying setup. So, and like I said, let's get to the race. I'm going to show you the race setup. So, here's the qualifying setup we're going to use for the race and all that stuff. And here it is. So, that's what we got in the car. And, yeah, like, like Ray says, I need a few practice laps, but anyway, <laughs> I just put in the setup, but anyway, good run, good run, couple practice laps, we'll jump around to qualify. Alright, here we go for qualifying run. So close. So close. Oh, I don't know where I get it there, but yeah, we're still not out of it. Still have a chance. Yeah, really messed up in turn one. They're off of four, gonna take third. Well, it depends if the second lap is good, but right now we're gonna get third. I mean, we're on the inside line, so that's even better, but I'll take third. I'll take it. Yep, I'll, I'll, 
I'll take a podium starting spot. Awesome qualifying. You set up great to win this thing. I don't know, but a starting a good starting spot helps a lot, but like I said, this is all about damage control, but it looks like I'm the tenth off. So I'm third, Great Biffle is right behind me, so we, we ran about the exact same lap. And a lot of times here are really, really close. Kyle Bush 21st, Hamlin 22nd, I think he's last in points. Yeah, about three seconds separation. Alright, so let me get out. Actually, the race is next, so I'm going to show you the race setup here. And... Give it everything you've got out there, and you right. can end the day in victory lane. Good luck, buddy. Alright, so the race setup, the party Mario setup, as people call me. I'm going to show you. Uh, the only thing I change really is the, the steering lock. We're going to hire it up by two. We're going to hire it up by one click for the race. Um, the brake bias all the way down. And, um, you know, and another thing I changed uh, we're going to add some rubber. To both ends. And yet, the tire pressure's all the way up, so that's all we changed. So that's the setup. And yeah, my friend, dude, let's jump right into Talladega. Welcome to Talladega, Alabama, for the only restrictor plate race in the chase the Good Sam Club 500. Mike, it's kind of a wild card race. It's the Lotto 500. These guys say when you come here, you're just gambling. You've got to be lucky to get out of here with a good finish, and that's what most of these guys are going to be looking for, a good finish. Do you need a good partner, Daryl, or the right place in the pack? No fun to dance alone. Got to have somebody to dance with. These high-speed restrictor plate races are among the most unpredictable because the winner can come from deep in the pack if, as you say, he gets the right partner. 500 miles of holding your breath, ready to go at the fastest speedway on earth. All right, here we go, Talladega for fourth race of the chase. And here we go. All right, a little worry. 38 long laps. So I'm gonna push my teammate. If I can, I'm gonna push. Gonna try to push my teammate out to the front. Got a lot of speed built up, so I'm gonna help my teammate. And all right, we're leading. We're up to second. Now, like I said, the guy I want to dance with. And Dale Jr. was wanting to push Jimmy Johnson for the win in 2011 for the closest finish in history. Oh, I don't want to get... Uh, I'm going to change views for this one. Going to make sure I stay behind Jimmy. Alright, oh, looks like uh, all birds catching us. Yeah, like I said, not being aggressive right now. Guys, say something for the end. So not being too aggressive. Going to try to stay... Get on the bumper. Be patient. There we go. Get on the bumper. And me and Jimmy are just gone. And it looks like we're probably going to relax. That's great drafting right there, man. All right, Jimmy Johnson and I are closing in on lap cars. Uh, we have gained a lot of time on Jeff Gordon. We're, we're six seconds ahead. Oh, uh, get behind him. Uh, Jimmy slowed up, trying to help him get by these lappers. And as you see, his bumper's all torn. As we're basically at the halfway point. Jimmy, go! Good lord! I'm trying to push you to get by these lap cars. Do not get behind him. Alright, I want to push my teammate. Oh, I just plowed him. <laughs> Alright, we have a four second gap, but we're basically at the halfway point. 
And I saw a couple cars went down pit road. You probably seen that on phone, but a couple cars went down pit road, and yeah, so far nothing's really happened. Just trying to stay behind Jerry, trying to wait for a perfect time to make the pass. The best play is coming off a of turn four on the last lap is why I'm planning on to make my pass. That's if it goes green. And we're basically coming to the halfway point now. Okay, All right, so we're at the halfway point, 20 to go. I've been on this camp pretty much the whole time, and so far nothing's happened. Just stay in second, try to stay behind my teammate, just push him as far as we can. So we can battle it out amongst ourselves. Hopefully he moves to the bottom. As I'm pushing on him, and he's slowing down because we're behind um, Josh Wise, and we're gonna get by him. Us two are gonna get by him. Alright, we both got by, that's more like traffic, and more cars are heading down pit road. So it's really weird to see more cars heading down pit road. And yeah, we have a four second gap. As we're basically at the twin to go on board. Yeah, we're halfway home here at Talladega, and this is going well than I expected. I thought we were gonna get a lot of yellows, and looks like we haven't gotten any so far. Had to spin, you know, chilling right here in second. It's just nothing's happened so far. It's always nice, and yeah, we're basically gonna relax. Okay, Jimmy just stalled for some odd reason. Probably because of Landon Castle. Now I gotta catch back up to him. Okay, now I gotta hold uh, Castle doesn't work with Jimmy here. Please don't work with him. Uh, Alright, well I can work with these. Alright, well I'll work with these three. I wanna I wanna get behind my teammate, damn it. You're not my teammate, he is. Yeah, Jimmy just stole right from me. I just and I and I just launched him in the air. Like he just stopped for some reason. As we're coming to 10 to go, 11 to go. Still no caution yet. That Willows had one. Um Yeah, so far none's really happened. So far us two have set the fastest lap. And we're 11 seconds ahead of the of the second group. It looks like they're getting spread it out a little bit. Yeah, this was the old strip of play racing. Uh, like from, I don't know, probably from like 09 all the way to 2012, kind of. Jimmy, don't stop here. Well, they're on a tie, he shouldn't stall. And I'm right behind him, which helps a lot. Well, I don't, don't want to pass him yet. Alright, off the turn four. Ten laps to go here at Talladega, right behind my teammate. And if it goes green, like I said, I went into the last corner to make my move. And remember guys, if you remember a few weeks ago in the answer, that race almost went green. Will it go green here? We're at the way and find out. If it, let's see if it'll go green, but looks like we're gonna have to relax and find out. I don't wanna make the pass. Jay, please don't get away from me. Oh my uh, guys, I feel like I just lost this race. Um, Jay Johnson, or he, I'm, I can catch back up to him, but he just stole right in front of me and. I feel like I've just lost this race. I'm gonna try, it's not over. And going back to the original view, because I feel like I just lost this race. Oh, I think he's pinning. I think Jimmy's pinning, guys. More cars, are, I, hope he, I hope he doesn't pin, because that's an easy win. I think he's pinning. Oh, he's staying out, good. Uh, who, who's pinning up here? That is, um, Trevor Bain is pitting! Why are they pitting? They got like five laps to go! Why are you all pitting? We got five to go. Four to go. Oh, four to go, sorry. Okay, I caught Jimmy again, so that's nice. 
Let's not go back to this because now I've caught back to him. I honestly thought I just lost this race, but looks like we're back in it and we still have a shot. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to make the pass. I want to wait till the last lad to make the pass, but... Oh, jeez! Get in the back of him. Like I said, I'm not trying to, but... Danica, damn it! Alright, well... We're talking about these guys. More cars are pitting! Uh, that is... More Truex, I believe. This game, weirder and weirder, but will this go green to the end? We got three laps. Yeah, we got eight laps on field, but we can make it to the end, or I can make it. That's if it goes green, but I can make it. But the question is, will everybody else make it? That's going to be on the wall. That's going to be the big question right now. Can everybody else make it on fuel? Do I break damage? I do, but I don't think it'll affect me. Yeah, now the car's going to be a lot more hard to turn, but... Yeah, a lot of cars are pinned, but we got two to go here. Again, it ain't over, guys. It's not over until that checkered flag flies. We got two more laps or until the white flag. Two laps to go, Talladega! The big question is, will this go green? I want to wait to make my move. Right, Jamie's going to stall in front of me. And we're getting, we're getting some cars up here. Will that slow us up? More tricks ain't going to slow us up. We're coming to the white flag. Jimmy is really slow up here. We're heading to the last few corners. All right, guys, on the final corner. I said, I'm not going to make the move yet. I'm going to wait till the last corner. White flag is out. One more lap to go with Talladega. This race is going to go green. For the first time in the chase, a race might end up on the green. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work. Stay right there. In the Almost red Jimmy there. Like I said, I'm not going to make the pass yet. Down the back stretch. Got to keep pushing. Got to find a way to make the move. Oh, I got on the fence a little bit. Hey, in the last corner. Stay low. Got to get out of the gas a little bit. Hopefully not a lot. All right, here we come. Off the last corner. On the outside. Who's going to win it? It's going to be... Jimmy Johnson is going to win it, Talladega. I'm going to finish second. Okay, not bad. Top five, great stuff. Next race, let's push just a little harder to get that win. All right, well, we're going to take a look at that finish, but we're going to look at the results first, because that was a good, pretty boring race, but... Surprised that out of all race, out of all tracks to go green, this is the one. Jimmy Johnson beat him by two one thousandths of a second, and it, I had the fastest lap. Uh, Jimmy wins, he beats me, I finish second, Sam Horn shoot thirty, uh, third. Um, thirty seconds back, wow. Uh, Jeff Gorn fourth, Jeff Byrne fifth, Kurt Busch, or AK, what if six. Well, Paul Montoya, Sam Joy the Gallo, eight, Regan Smith, ninth, and Kyle Busch rounds up the top ten. Scott Speed, eleventh. Um, Carl Edwards, twelfth. Brack is last, thirteenth. Eric Amarola, fifteenth. Greg Biffle, seventeenth. And Clint Boyer rounds up the top twenty. And um, seventeen cars end up on the lead lap. Robert Gordon, 21st, uh, Tony Stewart, 24th, Kevin Harvard, 25th, Danny Hamlin, 26th, Matt Kenseth, 27th, Michael Roots, 29th, and Dave Rager rounds at the top 30. Ricky Stenhouse, 31st, uh, Casey Kane, who won the first two races, finishes 32nd, Mark Martin, 33rd, uh, 
Amari Truex Jr. 34, Daniel Patrick 35th, Ryan Newman, or 35th, so yeah. Uh, Ryan Newman 38th, and Josh Wise rounds up the top 40. Travis Qual 41st, all still in 42nd, Mike McDowell finishes last. Alright, let's take a look at that finish. Alright guys, so there's the photo finish between 100 teammates. Um, yeah, just lost by a quarter of a car led over Jimmy Johnson. I think it's Jimmy's second first win at the chase. And Hendrick... And so far guys, Hendrick Motorsports has won the first four races of the chase with three different drivers, so... Looks like um, Hendrick Motorsports is pretty much dominating the chase, so... Yeah, um, just, Greg Bivol was in the way, and there was, I probably won this race if Greg Bivol didn't get in the way, or the live cars didn't get in the way, but, I was close, and, and again, it was fair and square, I didn't, I didn't hit him once like Michael Brutes would, but, um, yeah, I thought I was gonna hit him a little bit, but I didn't, I, did, I thought, I wanna make it fair, no controversy, but, yeah, that's the, that's the, Finish, and I'm gonna go look back, look for a thumbnail, and I'll see you all back at the race shop. We are back at the race shop, so we're gonna take a look at the points, and we are up by 26 over Jeff Gordon, so we gained about six points. So that's that's a net gain, and Jimmy Johnson with his first win. He is up to third, or he gained seven spots, and he is... Gotta do quick math here. He's 34 back. So, yeah, really good so far. Um, now that we should the play out of the way, the next race is going to be Charlotte. And so, we got back-to-back -back mile and a half, so then a short track, and then another mile and a half. Then Phoenix, then Homestead to finish the season, so... Tally League is over. I'm glad. Anyway, guys, um, next race is going to be Charlotte. Um, first mile and a half of the season. I don't know what car we're going to go with. So, And again, it's this game is automatic when it comes to that. So, Yeah, so anyway, guys, um, I will see you all at Charlotte for the halfway point of the chase. And, yeah, I'll see you all next week. As always... Have a good day, everyone. Take care.